Rakyam, Rakadaya, how of Rakadaya, how was Shah, Rakadaya, how of Rakadaya, how was Shah, Rakadaya, how of Rakadaya, how was Shah, Kahala, Yahawa, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakadash. Let's say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutations to you, Akiyam, out there pushing the word sincerity and truth. This is Ariala. Just coming home from the from the J-O-B-Z. I want to holler at you, Akiyam, and talk about a quick subject um, while I'm on this drive. And I wanted to talk about being mindful of being over-righteous or being holier than thou. This is something that we all struggle with at times in the truth. A lot of times we'll go through this when we have our own personal uh, epiphanies. You know, we'll have personal epiphanies as we grow in this truth and as you have more experiences, certain uh, uh, key aspects of the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding given to us, because in, in, it enlightens itself within our minds. And it's just like, oh, man, that, man, that's something I need to work on. Man, that's something that we as a nation need to work on. Man, that's something that's important for our spiritual walk. And that's sometimes, you know, a lesson meant for us to walk out and and get underneath ourselves and then as an example you teach others it's not meant for you to grab it and then just you know blab it all the time you know that's something that I know something that I would do and something that brothers would do sometimes we, we have our own personal epiph epiphanies and we just want to go and scream on top of the world and get brothers on board like it, it, for example it could be about fasting you're like man we need to fast ah man fasting is so important and um you'll go through this process of fasting and then you're like man i'm gonna fast twice a week or twice a month or whatever and then you kind of make it to where you want all the brothers to do the same thing that you got going on you know you have to be mindful that that's a tradition for yourself. That's something for yourself. And it's not necessarily something that brothers should be held to or looked down upon if they don't match your enthusiasm, you know. So we have to be mindful of over-righteousness. A lot of times in this truth, there's a certain a level of reactionary element towards the ministry that we do that... I, I, I warn brothers about, you know, we don't want to be reactionary, all right? And what I mean reactionary is what I mean is that you're constantly looking for something to react to. You're constantly looking for something to judge in a sense, okay? You know, that in boxing, it talks about uh, there's different types of boxers. You have, you have the pressure fighters. You have the purists that move. You have counter punchers, you know. And a lot of times when we we are being reactionary, we think that we're being counter punchers. And we might be counter punching, but we might not be effectively counter punching. Because whenever you become reactionary, you can subject yourself to be emotionally swayed back and forth by the actions of other men. You do not want your state of mind or your emotional uh, place to be attached to any actions from any outside forces. And when you're so when you're so focused on reacting to what other people do all the time, oh that makes me mad. Oh I hate that. Oh man why did oh brothers should be doing and you're constantly looking for that. You can be swayed back and forth emotionally, which can take you outside of the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the most high want stable minds. Don't be in a reactionary person. Where you're always kind of looking for something to be mad at or reacting to or it might not even be just anger. It could be, you know, you need other people to make you happy. You need other people to make you comfortable. You need other situations to make you this or that. You, you don't have any peace within yourself. Your self-esteem is based upon what other people have going on. Beware of, of, of that type of uh, over-righteousness or like the scriptures talk about being holier than thou. It's a smoke in the Heavenly Father's nose. And when you act that way, you can leave off from the weightier matters of the spirit, which is what? Judgment, faith, and mercy. Okay? We want to have a stable mindset as we go through gaining experience, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay? 
one other thing to watch out for is, you know, you can be over-righteous by thinking that you're being detailed. You think that if I write out every single little bitty detail, that will make this on point. That will make me be appreciated. That will make me, when actually you're just elongating things, you're making things more complicated, you're making it harder on yourself, you're stressing yourself out, and nobody's going to feel you because you're doing it to yourself. You know, a lot of times we get mad at other brothers because they're not feeling us. <laughs> because we're going through this mental or physical or emotional strain, and they're not, and you want them to feel you. Then they're not going to feel you. Why? Because they got the life that they live in. They can sympathize and pray for you, but other than that, you got to deal with it. Don't overwhelm yourself with stuff thinking that is righteousness. Okay? Don't overwhelm your stuff with trying to be too meticulous about every dot, the dotted I and cross T. And hey, trust me, I know I've done it and I still have to watch out from doing it. You know? I still have to watch out from just doing too much. Okay, don't be over-righteous. At least you destroy yourself, man, by by uh, creating vows and traditions of men and trying to trying to create righteousness off of traditions of men that ain't got nothing to do with the scripture. Okay? If you're going on brothers' pages constantly and trying to see how many videos they've done every, uh, every week, and that's like... Yo, you're the focal point of your ministry, bro. You need a wake up call. That ain't gonna that ain't gonna get you nowhere in the kingdom. If you grade your righteousness or or what you bring to the table based off what other men are doing, you are way off the mark. You are so far off the mark, it's it's scary. And if you're doing that. You're going to notice that brothers don't want to be around you. You're going to notice that brothers don't want to confide or talk to you. And the reason why is because they feel judged, man. They feel like you, 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 you're looking for any little wrong thing. Don't act like that, man. All right? Don't be over-righteous. Don't be holier than thou. That's something that we can't be doing. That's something that we need to be mindful of. You know? Something that we all need to be mindful of. Because, the, hey, at the end of the day, Yahweh Hashem is, is has got this thing on lock. Of course, amongst the brotherhood is going to be a, a, a level of exhortation and rebuke. But there's also going to be uh, uh, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, kindness, charity, and all the other fruits of uh, the Spirit. Okay? And also, man, it holds your own spiritual walk back when, you, when you're putting burdens on yourself that really don't even matter. You know? Don't overburden yourself with, with, with thoughts of trying to keep up with the next man or, or even trying to just set these spiritual goals for yourself that that are not based upon anything you can control. You know? And I keep, I'm gonna keep saying this, man. Don't allow your spiritual state to be set by the, or, or to be controlled by the actions of other men. You know? It's okay to be passionate and compassionate and compassionate. But don't have your whole mind state and, and spiritual state be tossed to and fro because somebody said this or didn't say that. Because you would like for this to be done that way and it wasn't done that way. Because you said something in a, in, in the hopes of getting this or that reaction or, or this or that out of the situation and it don't go the way that you perceive that it should go. Okay? We all struggle with those things. But to move forward in this walk, you gotta you gotta release yourself from certain things. You can't control another man. That's up to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay. You 
can't control who's going to be saved, who's not going to be saved. The only thing you can do is live your life and be the best example you can be. And with them being that example, don't be uh, going overboard. It's a marathon. If you're sprinting at the, in the first 20 minutes of the marathon, guess what? It's going to be extremely difficult for you to finish this race. That don't mean you're walking. That don't mean you're crawling. Crawling, you set yourself at a good pace. Be temperate in all things. And be mindful, man. Be mindful. Okay? So I just wanted to talk about that, man. Hey, call Halal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutations to you. I came out there pushing the words and saying the truth. Hey, Shalom.